Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching my review of Canmore Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to my review of Canmore Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Canmore is a single malt brand from the independent bottler Charles Edge and the Canmore name refers to the nickname of the first King of Scotland. This particular whiskey is a single malt. It's bottled at 40% ABV. We don't know the distillery, but it is Scottish and we don't know the region. This particular bottle retails for 36 pounds in the UK for a 70 CL bottle. And the guys at Charles Edge were kind enough to send it to me. Should we find out what it tastes like? On to the whiskey. So before I start nosing and tasting, let's have a quick look at the color. I'd say that's like a deep gold, but with the absence of that information on the bottle, it could well be colored. Let's start with the nose. Right, so the first thing I get with this is like a white wine. There's a little bit of oak. There's a fruitiness. It sort of reminds me of like poached pears. I'm getting some vanilla. I'm getting some citrus like lemon sherbet. I'm also getting like a hint of soap. And also getting like fresh linen as well, which is quite nice. Let's move on to the palette. Yes, yeah, so the first thing that is really noticeable in this is there's quite a woody, sort of oaky note. And along with that, there's a slightly soapy note, very similar to what I picked up on the nose. Those two sort of flavors that I pick up on whiskeys are normally off-putting, but actually on this, it's, it's really quite, really quite drinkable. I think it's not overpowering, and normally those notes are things that I pick up on whiskey as I go down the bottle and it sort of gets worse over time but you know this is um, yeah this is quite fresh and, and quite light and I think it really works with this. Let's have another sip. Yeah so there is some sweetness there I'm getting some vanilla. There is a slightly fizzy note like lemon sherbet with that sort of citrus that I picked up on the nose. It's it's present on the on the palate. There is a hint of wood smoke in there, and I'd also say there's a slightly bitter, dry, savoury note. I can't really work out what it is. It's just there in the background. Let's have one final sip, see if I get anything else. Yeah, I'm not really getting much more, but there is uh, there is a slightly sort of a slightly sort of I don't know, almost like lemon zest. That sort of sherbet has turned into a little bit sort of brighter, a little bit more natural, and it's a bit more like lemon zest. And I'd say there's also probably like a, a slight sort of aniseed note in there as well. Yeah, but in terms of finish, I'd say it's like medium long. There is a bit of heat, there is a bit of pepper, there is a little bit of dry wood, and that sort of aniseed note, like star anise, it is sort of it's sort of lingering on the on the palate. And I'd say it's probably deceptive for a 40% ABV whiskey. I'd, I'd be surprised if I tasted this blind, if it wasn't 
43 or 46 with that sort of heat and pepper and that sort of fizziness on the palate. In terms of value, well, this retails for around the £35 mark in the UK for a 70cl bottle. You can get it for a in a 50cl size bottle if you don't want to spend as much. I think that's £25 in the UK. At the moment, I think it's on sale um, directly from Charles Edge. Uh, I think you can get it for around the £30 mark, which I don't think is too bad, but obviously it is non-age statement. It is difficult to know the age of the stock that goes into this. But it is quite tasty. I think I think it's a whiskey that's worth a go. I think potentially um, it's a great starter dram for, a, for an evening. Um, or even potentially, you know, if you want something light, something inexpensive, or as Vin from No Nonsense Whiskey would say, a guard whiskey, something to protect your more expensive bottles, then this could be it. I'll put a link in the description so you can find out more about the whiskey, the brand, and even a discount code so you can get it for around the £30 mark. And if you've tried this, also let me know in the comments. As always, I'd love to hear what other people think of it. And it's definitely a brand that I'm going to keep my eye on, see what they're doing, and look out for their single cask bottlings. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Sauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.